Greetings! Today's geography exercise is about the solstice and equinox. This is all connected with uh, the rotation of the Earth about the Sun and the axis of rotation of the Earth around itself. Biggest parallel, which is the equator, Separates, separates the Earth in two hemispheres. This is the northern hemisphere and the, south, the southern hemisphere. It will all matter about the solstice and equinox. Also, the rotation of the Earth around the Sun also have effect on that. And I will begin with the uppermost where we have the vernal equinox. Uh, wait, not that. <laughs> it, it is behind the sun, so the sun is uh, lightening this area. Now, the vernal equinox in general marks the coming spring. So, if uh, on the diagram the earth goes this way, I will begin and this is approximately 21st to 22nd of March. So, in the vernal equinox, the day is equal the night in both hemispheres. And if we go through the spring and reach the 21st and 22nd June, where we have the longest day in the northern hemisphere and the longest night in the southern hemisphere, this is when the Earth is lighted from one side. So, what interesting is here? We, I can see that uh, the, the upper, the top of the Earth is facing the Sun. So, this means that in the Scandinavian countries, there is half, of, half an year of daylight. Well, it is not like a daylight in, in the noon where the sun is up, but the sun is going around the horizon. And it is always light. But vice versa, on the southern hemisphere, uh, those bases in Antarctica, they are, uh, are messing with one big night, which is six or half an year of night. But, well, this time, these times will pass and we are going through the summer to 22nd of September. And this is the autumnal equinox where again we have the day equals the night in both hemispheres. So, this is during September. And now I will pass through the autumn and go into the winter in the 21st of 22nd of December where we have the longest night in the northern hemisphere and the longest day in the southern hemisphere. Uh, this uh, exercise should be released on exactly on the or near the uh, longest night in our hemisphere in Europe and United States. So I will place the last position here. Uh, well, I got my new knowledge level, and again, if I if I see now the Scandinavian countries in Europe are facing six months months <laughs> of night, right? So the sun is uh, moving somewhere where they cannot see it. He's in the back of the earth. Can we peek? Nope, we cannot. We have to wait for the march. And this is the basic principle of the Saltis and Equinox concept.